this video, we look at the Thetford T series of compressor fridges. This model in the video being the T2175, which is in our higher Burst and Elysio TD line 644. Thetford do have a, a range of other kind of models in this range. However, this video should cover the basics. If you are looking at it as a kind of quick get to start guide, feel free. I'll try and cover everything for you. Main thing to note with these fridges is they are 12 volt only. So they run off the leisure battery, which makes it a bit more difficult if you're camping wild. You do need to take more notice on the voltage remaining in your leisure battery. If you've got mains hook up though, absolutely fine. You don't need to worry about it. So to turn it on, press your finger on the power button. The icons there you can see will flash. After a few seconds, it goes to into standby mode. The fridge will still be on. Um, but you can't actually change the settings. It's locked itself to unlock it so you can adjust the settings. Hold your finger down, you'll see them flash in, and then you can raise the power, lower the power, depending on what you need. If the outside temperature is between 16 and 25 degrees Celsius, Thetford recommend it to, uh, for the fridge department compartment to use the uh, middle setting and the freezer compartment I hold that on there. It's currently on the second setting, just to give you a rough idea. Uh, the one, the setting number one, you're looking at around minus six degrees, which is good for your ice cubes. And three, setting three is minus 18-ish, which obviously uses most energy, which again, you would try to avoid if you are camping wild, but that would be for your ice creams and things like that, depending on if your fridge does have the freezer tray as this one does. Night mode, which we will see. There's a little moon shape over here. If I was to press that now and hold it down, I can turn night mode on, it goes blue. And what that does is we'll use the lowest noise setting, um, which will automatically switch off back to normal after 12 hours. When it's not in nighttime mode, the, the normal mode then, the fridge will select the lowest noise setting where possible, but it depends on the temperature outside the fridge. So it is actually quite warm inside the motorhome at the moment. So if I was to turn night mode off, let me unlock the panel again, turn it off. We will be able to hear the fridge kick in shortly. There's like a, a, a low vibration noise, which isn't actually that loud, but the nighttime setting just makes it a little bit quieter for you. When using your fridge, the door automatically locks itself. So if you have it loaded and you're in transit and you go around a roundabout, nothing's gonna make this door fly open. To open it when in use, just pull the catch and open the door. So as mentioned earlier in this video, this model of Thetford compressor fridge is the T2175, which comes with this freezer tray. To open the freezer tray, very much like the main door, lift it and pull the drawer out. If you own the motorhome and you are getting the motorhome ready for storage over winter, you have to defrost your fridge freezer. To do so, switch it off, open the main door, pull this drawer all the way out. And then if you lift the front of the drawer, the drawer will come away completely, a bit like a chest of drawers at home. Put some towels underneath to absorb all the water. And then when you are ready to actually put it into storage, there are some catches in the door, little blue catches, which you then fold down, and this will stop the drawer fully closing, enabling air to flow around easy without kind of trapping any condensation. Just remember when you come to use your fridge freezer again after uh, storage, make sure you put the blue clips back so that you get the proper seal when you close your doors and drawer, and then the fridge will run down to temperature again.